has now been arrested by the Telangana police. Sharmila has now been taken into preventive custody at Mehbubabad district and this comes after clashes took place between YSRTP and BRS workers as police denied permission to Sharmila to carry out her padyatra and YS Sharmila was now taken has now been taken to Hyderabad by the Telangana police. So she was taken into preventive custody at Mehbubabad district and now YS Sharmila has now been taken to Hyderabad by the Telangana police. Now this comes after clashes took place between YSRTP and BRS workers as police denied permission to Sharmila to carry out her padyatra. So this big breaking news coming in from Telangana, YSRTP chief YS Sharmila has now been arrested and taken into preventive custody by the Telangana police. She was taken into custody at Mehbubabad district and has now been moved to Hyderabad by the police. So this big, big breaking news coming in from Telangana. YS Sharmila has now been taken into preventive custody by the Telangana police. She was taken into custody at Mehbubabad district and is now being taken to Hyderabad by the police. Now this arrest comes after there were clashes between the YSRTP workers and the BRS workers. Also, there was a war of words between Sharmila and BRS MLA Shankar Naik for making derogatory remarks against her, after which there were clashes also between the party workers of the, of the two parties. And now, YS Sharmila has been taken into pre preventive custody by the police. CNN News 18, Swastika is joining us to give us more details on this. Swastika, why has YS Sharmila been taken into preventive custody? Well, what we're given to understand is that Sharmila's uh, Praja Prasthanam Yapadiyatra was abruptly uh, stopped by a clash between the YSRTP cadres and the BRS cadres. This took place at Mehbubabad district of Telangana. And what we're given to understand that this comes as a, uh, it comes a day after uh, why Sharmila, in fact, targeted the local MLA for calling her a, a settler, a migrant, saying that she is somebody who who is not related to the Telangana's political scenario, and she has only been brought in as a, a stooge of the Bharatiya Janata Party. These were the comments that were made by uh, uh, Mehbubabad MLA Shankar Nayak, and in retaliation, Sharmila also targeted him, saying uh, that he is one of the most shameless MLAs who uses derogatory and filthy language. War of words escalated into violence early this morning at around 6. They are given to understand the allegations on the YSR TP side is that all the uh, uh, local uh, leaders were targeted by BRS uh, leaders, cadres on the ground who clashed with them. And subsequently, what has happened now is that Sharmila was once again picked up by the police, uh, detained, uh, taken into preventive custody and is being brought back to Hyderabad as we speak. Her rally once again has been cancelled. The party's plan was to end the Padiyatra on the 5th of March after Sharmila completed 4,000 kilometers. But now there has been a, a pause in that plan and Sharmila is likely to once again give representation to the Chief Minister over, uh, over the violence that took place today. Swastika, what will be police next action against uh, YS Sharmila? The allegation from Sharmila's camp is that the police stood as mute spectators while her party members were allegedly being attacked by the BRS cadres. We do not know exactly what happened on the ground because the police's version is that that they were instructed to in fact take Sharmila into preventive custody because her protection was something that mattered to them. They said that despite denying police permission, uh, for the party after Sharmila went ahead with it and in defiance they had no choice but to take her into their custody and eventually bring her back to Hyderabad. Similar scenes, remember, played out uh, last year in Parangal as well and this time around in Mehbubabad also the script uh, and the entire uh, way things have been playing out is pretty much the same and in fact uh, Sharmila uh, is being brought back to Hyderabad. Her party after has been abruptly stopped. Uh, she faced by the police officials at the behest uh, who are allegedly acting at the behest of Chief Minister KCR. Swastika, can you also tell us more about the Padyatra that uh, YS Sharmila was holding? Well, Sharmila has been on the days for over 280 days now and in fact this is 
for uh, praja prasthamam yat padi yatra this has been um, something that she has embarked on since last year in a bid to uh, teach out to the masses here in telangana and in fact build herself as the political leadership remember if you talk about the political dynamics of telangana sharmila is a new player in the field Uh, she is somebody she is she is the sister of Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy has always uh, in the past uh, relegated herself to being a somebody who is uh, who is a backhand support of Jagan Mohan Reddy but she decided to venture into politics on her own and that to in Telangana with a vision of bringing back Rajana Rajyam as she says meaning that the rule that her father YS late YSR had in undivided under with age before his untimely death um that kind of rule is what she wants to bring back and politically sharmila has been um, telling it very clear that she would be contesting all the seats in the upcoming telangana elections slated to happen in uh, the next few months uh, and she said that she will be contesting from palayar constituency so sharmila has been trying very hard to Uh, build her connect with the masses to also tell people why she should be given a chance to run as the chief minister what kind of policies and her target has been the kcr government against which she has time and again all right swastika we have ysrtp national media spokesperson neelam ramesh joining us uh, how do you see this arrest swastika uh, how do you see this arrest uh, neelam ramesh uh, 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 as uh, Y Sharmila has been taken into preventive custody, uh, as there were clashes between the BRS and YSRTP. See, we are uh, continuing this Pali Yatra last two fifty days. In these two fifty days, nothing has happened, and wherever we are going, uh, people are expecting the problems. People are saying the problems, and Sharmila is fighting hard to about the Telangana people. And yesterday night, what happened is uh, this uh, Shankar Naik, the local MLA. Uh, people have uh, a lot of issues with him. He spoke in the public meeting about his problems and all these things. And today morning, the mob, the paid mob from BRS Gunda Swar came to the campaign and uh, our camp, and they attacked the camp. And the police has uh, arrested Shilmal Garu and uh, taking him to Hyderabad. What will be uh, why? Uh, yeah. yeah, tell me. Yeah, what will be YSRTP's next step? Well, the next step is we are not going to stop. We are going again. The court actually the court has given order to Pala Yatra. But this police has suddenly stopped us. Now again, we are going to court, and we again restart the Pala Yatra as soon as possible. So we also have BJP's Krishna Sagar joining us. So, uh, Y S Sharmila has been taken into preventive custody by the Telangana Police as she was holding her Pala Yatra. How do you see this? See, as I have uh, several times uh, said this, and saying it again, at the cost of repetition, that Sharmila is a non-player in Telangana politics. she has she has no one second she has uh, no role to play in telangana politics she happens to be the sister of uh, jagan and uh, she has an agenda to actually uh, undo what uh, telangana has acquired so far as an independent state now having said that we are in a democracy and we are hello yes yeah, so uh, we are in a democracy we are in a democracy and everybody has a right to express and she has been expressing through her pada yatra and we have no issues with that but she has this uh, uh you know pattern of using very vulgar abuse and that is what is getting her into trouble and she has been abusing mlas mps see we are also in opposition we do what we do but we don't use verbal epithets and abuse uh, in, in politics and it has to be issue based and that is why we believe that she is uh, getting herself into trouble all the time so also uh, there are, there was a war of words between uh, yas sharmila and brs mla where sharmila has alleged that brs mla uh, shankar naik used derogatory remarks against her what would you like to say on that yeah but the question is what about her you know it's like it is also about what she's saying and it's about what they are saying so that is why i said i mean this kind of politics is degenerating the entire public discourse in telangana state and uh, instead of focusing on what an opposition leader should do to voice the opinion 